to an insightful episode of the AU Talks on AU TV. I am Ajimona Shidako and I'm going to be your host. Today I have a very unique personality in my midst who is the principal of the College of Art and Social Science. And we're discussing the role of art and social science to development in Rwanda. Before I introduce you, my guest, please stay tuned. We'll be right back. The kind of university we ultimately want is a university that allows people to become the best kind of people they were ever meant to be. You know? And again, it comes back to a university being a space, a, a space of three or four years in the space of a young person's life, where they're protected from many of the other pressures of needing to seek employment and, and, and start their careers, but a space in which we provide them with opportunities to become the best. Just joined us is AU Talks and AU TV, and we are at the University of Rwanda, and we have here the principal of the College of Arts and Social Science, and we'll be discussing the role of art and social science to the development of Rwanda, and we have here Dr. Alphos Malefu. Welcome, doctor. Welcome. Thank Great. you. Welcome to Rwanda. Thank you. Welcome to AU TV as well. Thank you. Um, Counting for the, the great um, achievements that the University of Rwanda has made and the great change that it has gone through over the past five years, I want to say it's a good um, path set for you to achieve a lot. But before, I want to find out from you the state of um, arts and social science in Rwanda currently. Yeah. Uh, thank you very much uh, once again, and uh, thank you for coming to Rwanda and to the University of Rwanda in particular. Uh, the College of Arts and Social Sciences is uh, comprised of uh, four schools and uh, three research centers. Uh, it has uh, the School of Law, uh, the School of Governance, the School of Arts and Languages, uh, the school and the School of uh, Journalism and Communication. It uh, has a Center for Conflict Management, uh, the Center for Gender Studies, um, and the uh, Center for Legal Clinic. Um, we have undergraduate programs and uh, nine master's programs. Uh, we also have uh, a PhD by research and we are currently developing uh, a PhD by coursework uh, uh, and uh, other master's programs and other postgraduate programs. Uh, the College of Arts and, and and social sciences uh, is uh, mainly an inheritance uh, from the former National University of Rwanda. Sure. Uh, uh, just for a little background, uh, the, the current University of Rwanda is uh, a merger of uh, different higher institutions of learning, uh, public institutions of learning that were put together to create uh, one uh, University of Rwanda. Uh, so uh, it is uh, part of the oldest, uh, the national, former National University of Rwanda was the oldest university in the country, actually the first and the only public university that existed uh, uh, since the 1960s. Okay. Uh, we're so we've been uh, in existence uh, for that long. Uh, uh, at the moment, uh, we operate on four campuses. Uh, our main campus is uh, at Huye campus, the, the, the traditional or the old campus uh, of the University of Rwanda. Uh, we have uh, uh, mainly our master's programs are uh, housed at Jikondo campus and uh, Remera campus. Uh, we have a master's program with the police uh, where we teach uh, peace and conflict transformation and another master's program with the military where we teach, uh, we, we teach uh, uh, security and strategic studies. Okay. Uh, but we also teach military sciences uh, uh, in undergraduate in the military okay. uh, and law uh, together with the professional uh, police courses uh, and law at the police uh, college. So briefly, that is uh, the College of Arts and Social Sciences. 
uh, <coughs> and our contribution sure. uh, is uh, uh, mainly in the in the area of developing uh, uh, knowledgeable and skilled people in in those disciplines uh, I, I, I I briefly mentioned. Uh, so okay, yeah. so um, looking at uh, your contribution that far, I've seen a tremendous change because um, it's everybody here in this country is quite unified to a, a, a great purpose uh, on structure and the economy. But let's look at specifically what are some of the fundamental contributions that the College of or Social Science made to transform Rwanda's country. Uh, as I uh, briefly talked about the disciplines and the schools and the centers we have, yes. uh, with the, the tragic experience of the genocide uh, uh, against the Tutsi that happened in Rwanda in 1994, yeah. uh, everything that happened after uh, the genocide, uh, be it in a transformation uh, of, of leadership, be it in governance, be it in conflict resolution, uh, uh, courts of law, uh, uh, providing justice, uh, all those uh, follow in the disciplines that are within the College of Arts and Social Sciences. So uh, all the development uh, that is happening in the country, uh, we cannot claim uh, the, 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 the the significant contribution, but we, we believe uh, we've contributed uh, a, a, a recognizable percentage in what has been happening in Rwanda in terms of transformation, mm -hmm. given the fact that uh, this was the only, uh, not only the only public uh, university, but also the only university that existed in Rwanda. Well, currently we have so many private universities, but. Uh, uh, this was the only university uh, by, by, by then, and, and uh, uh, all you find uh, all the offices occupied by our alumni. Okay. Yeah. So, um, hi there, you just joined us at AU Talks, and I'm with Dr. Alphonse Mulefu, the principal of the College of Arts and Social Science. We're discussing the role of arts and social science development of Rwanda. And when we're going for a quick pause, when we come back, we'll be talking about how enhanced research is in social science in Rwanda. Stay tuned. Oh, you know, this is a very uh, important university for the people of Rwanda. The government and the people of Rwanda expect a lot from this university. Uh, it is a university that is called to be uh, the benchmark of quality of teaching, the benchmark of uh, research to address developmental challenges of, the, of, of our country. As we teach, it's part of kind of uh, material that we are putting in, uh, like production materials. So we need to have a, an output, who is the student, who is going now to be useful to the nation and in different aspects. As you can see, the country has shifted from poverty reduction towards the national transformation. That implies the need of additional skills that needs to be bridged by the students that we are producing currently. At the University of Rwanda, the quality and standard of teaching is very solid and cannot be compromised. I joined the university with a lot of impression and expectations, and until now, my hopes have not been dashed. The quality of education in the in the University of Rwanda is, I think, one of the highest standards. It's like they prepare the students to be entrepreneurs in the country, and at the same time, should they reach a situation to go outside, let's say, to the U.S. or Europe, they can also survive there. It, the quality of education is very, very high. It's actually, I would say, it will prepare you for any job any situation you want that you can be thrown at. During this small experience that I've passed here, I've learned that uh, being in, in a university does not, it's not just about academics. 
Uh, they've teached me a lot of different things, how to ad adapt with the social and civic rights, how to be responsible and to find the enemy. For me, I want to see the university in the next 10 years where there is a very strong linkage between the university community, students, university lecturers, researchers, and also citizens or community because we owe them a lot of responsibilities in terms of knowledge, in terms of technology, in terms of innovations to handle different difficulties that they are meeting in their day-to-day -day business and activities. Welcome back. You just joined us. It's AU Talks on AU TV, and we're discussing the role of arts and social science to the development of Rwanda. And I have here Dr. Alphonse Olefu, the principal of the College of Arts and Social Science, University of Rwanda. All right, Doc. So um, now let's move to how enhanced research is in social science. You know, research is the heartbeat of life. We can't live any longer without research. So how do you inculcate much enhanced research in social science in Rwanda? Uh, uh, thank you very much. Um, maybe I sh should tell you about the number of our academic staff. We have uh, about 160 academic staff. Uh, this uh, college is the smallest in the, in, in the size, uh, I would say, uh, because we have about uh, uh, 2,900 or close to uh, 3,000 st students okay. as a population. Uh, we'll have uh, 160 academic staff. Mm -hmm. uh, out of those 160 academic staff, uh, about 70 of them are PhD holders. Okay. Uh, when I say are PhD holders, I mean people who are capable of producing knowledge okay. and conducting research independently. Uh, out of, uh, again, to break it down a little bit, 18% of them are people who are capable of supervising PhDs. Okay. And as I said, we have nine uh, master's programs, and uh, all our master's programs end with research projects. So in that area, we, we we're doing research. But also we have PhD by research, so we are also doing research uh, through the the, the 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 PhD products of our students. Uh, but we also uh, the population of our academic staff because we initially uh, the National University of Rwanda and the education generally in Rwanda was uh, teaching based. Yeah. Uh, we are currently moving towards uh, being a research led university. Research -led. And in that sense, we have uh, uh, dedicated a significant uh, percentage of workload to research. Okay. Uh, of course, depending on the, uh, on the rank okay. of an academic staff, you find that uh, uh, you for, for a professor, for example, would be teaching like 30% and, and, uh, and uh, like 50% is to uh, dedicated to research or 60 percent depending on on the rank uh, the those who are on the level of senior lecturers you find that they they do research at 40 percent and their teaching is at uh, uh, like 50 percent and we have 10 percent for community engagement okay. so it is uh, uh, within the university policy uh, that uh, we encourage research and the uh, uh, promotion in addition to experience and the qualification, it is also based on the number of publications uh, you, you, you've, uh, you've, you've uh, produced. So uh, research uh, is, is very key, uh, and because now the number of students, undergraduates, that are coming in in the social sciences is uh, uh, in, in, in our colleges somehow reducing, we are focusing now on postgraduate programs, sure. the areas that produce research. So uh, I would say uh, it is an area uh, that is still developing, uh, but which we have uh, uh, different strategies to, to achieve uh, uh, 
the, 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 the intended uh, goal of creating a research led university. So like you earlier mentioned that um, Rwanda has been through some dark days in genocide and it, it brought a lot of load onto social science and arts because you will now have to find new, new ways and means to build an economy again to make it much more robust and attractive to, to uh, the other countries around. So what has been the findings so far as the, the lead in social science? What has been your findings? What has been your efforts to bring back the, 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 the great sunshine in Rwanda? Uh, primarily, as a university, uh, people come here to learn and, and go back to the different uh, fields of their interest. Yeah. Uh, there are those who are in private, uh, there are those who are in uh, public institutions, and all sectors in this country are growing. Sure. Uh, that is one major contribution that we are making in terms as as an academic institution. Sure. Uh, but uh, we also uh, see our contribution uh, in in the sense that uh, uh, let's take an example. If if you given uh, medicine, mm -hmm. if you are diagnosed of uh, certain illness and then you're given medicine, yeah. uh, your failure to take uh, the tablets or the medications sure. that you've been given sure. might not be an issue of uh, uh, a physician to to know. Sure. That is something that uh, a social scientist can can understand. Why is this person given, for example, to take three uh, doses uh, of medicine and is not doing it? Yeah. So uh, it, it, it the 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 role of social sciences. Uh, is necessary whether you have a post-conflict uh, situation mm -hmm. or not. Mm -hmm. uh, if you have uh, uh, very good buildings, uh, people need to know why, for example, some people might want to use these buildings and not those other buildings. Okay. So there is always an element of, because you're dealing with a society, yes. and you can't talk about society without talking about social sciences, sure without talking about humanities, humanities uh, generally. So uh, that is uh, the role. Uh, we understand the importance of uh, uh, encouraging STEM subjects uh, because the, the, uh, that is the intention of development because of the current uh, development frontiers yes. that we have. But uh, we also uh, uh, know that uh, the social sciences will always be needed uh, in all uh, uh, social uh, aspects of life. So let's let's delve, delve deep into the people, you know, the indigents of Rwanda, some who are not having the advantage of enjoying formal education, perhaps benefiting from arts and social sciences. They, they have to now fend on their own. What is your role or what is that unique activity to reach those people in Rwanda who haven't got the chance to be in the formal setting? to benefit from the knowledge of social science and arts? Yeah. Uh, thank you very much. That's a very good question. As I said, in uh, our distribution of workload, we have a percentage for teaching, we have a percentage for, for research, mm -hmm. but we also have 10% for community engagement. Okay. Uh, we want to have impact uh, not only around ourselves, because this is a University of Rwanda. Okay. It is the only public university. So we have uh, a mandate uh, to serve a nation yeah. as a whole. Yeah. So in the College of Arts and Social Sciences, we have, uh, uh, as I said, a center for legal clinics. Mm -hmm. So we provide legal aid services to the general public. Okay. Uh, we are currently operating in Huya district. We are expanding to three districts. Okay. Uh, people come to our, uh, to our uh, service uh, centers and provide uh, them with the legal uh, services and follow up on their legal issues to down to the communities and provide them uh, education on, on changes in, 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 in legal matters. We have also uh, uh, some activities uh, around social works sure. uh, and uh, uh, those are some of the uh, formalized 
outreach programs that we have in the College of Arts and Social Sciences, but also our students organize uh, ad hoc projects. Uh, ad hoc projects to educate, for example, in 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 in, in, in villages about um, sanitation and hygiene, mm -hmm. uh, about um, uh, prevention of early pregnancies against gender-based violence. Because I said you have a center for gender studies, we we collaborate with the different uh, uh, institutions to 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 reach out to the community. So we have different initiatives. Some are, are permanent, others are ad hoc based on societal needs uh, that uh, uh, might be at, uh, 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 of interest at a certain moment in, in time uh, uh, that we, we find that are necessary to be addressed and then we, we participate. That is amazing to hear. Yeah. So can you share with us what are some of your key future prospects to, to, to improve arts and social science business in Rwanda? Uh, every school, uh, as I said, we are made of different schools and, uh, and centers. Uh, every school and center uh, has different strategies and, uh, and, and policies okay. and, uh, uh, and projects right. that are uh, aimed to improve uh, not only uh, in education and research, but also, as I said, uh, in access and providing services to the community. Yes. Uh, we have, uh, 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 for example, uh, as I mentioned, different postgraduate programs uh, that are being developed sure. uh, at different levels of accreditation because sure. we have to ha first have uh, the, uh, the programs are accredited accredited before we start uh, offering them. But we also uh, provide uh, 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 some short courses. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, but we want to, as I said, we want to focus uh, in the reason we are now shifting towards postgraduate program is that we want to focus on research okay. and production of knowledge. Uh, but uh, the Production of knowledge is something that is uh, that grows slowly uh, because you need a critical mass of people that are capable of producing knowledge. Sure. Uh, just one or two uh, people with PhDs uh, are not enough to... So that's why we focused on uh, educating our staff and recruiting people with PhDs. So we now have, uh, we have uh, developed uh, uh, an in-house PhD by coursework. Okay. Uh, where we will be providing uh, uh, PhD trainings. We, we have uh, uh, projects that provide post-doctorate uh, programs. Okay. Uh, in collaboration with other universities, we have uh, MOUs with universities uh, uh, in the region and, uh, and beyond, mainly in Sweden and the, and the Netherlands. Uh, so all that uh, is contributing to developing uh, our capacity uh, as uh, an, 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 an institution that contributes to our uh, service uh, provision in the, in the area of arts and social sciences. Yeah. Okay, so looking at how tremendous you work in in-house to build capacity for this um, college, what would you, I want you to just combine your hopes on partnership with other institutions in Africa and also within Rwanda and also your vision for the College of Arts and Social Science impact in Rwanda? Uh, so far we have uh, uh, an MOU with the uh, University of Nairobi. Mm -hmm. We have an MOU with the Makerere. Mm -hmm. uh, we have an MOU with the University of uh, Addis Ababa. Okay. Uh, we have uh, uh, MOUs with many universities and institutions sure. uh, in the area of uh, arts and social sciences. We do exchange of uh, uh, staff okay. and, and students uh, and, and we hope with these partnerships we will be able to, to learn from each other and, 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 and share experiences uh, and develop. 
uh, we uh, currently uh, have uh, people coming to teach in our master's programs from all these uh, uni universities. Okay. Yeah. So uh, in the areas of partnerships, that's what I can say. And uh, we, w we see it uh, as uh, uh, producing results okay. uh, because we, and, and I think this is what is, uh, people should be encouraging, uh, to, to discourage what some people call academic incest. Uh, you study from one university, you work from one university, and you find that everything is about to that university. So when you, you cross uh, uh, the region and, uh, uh, and go beyond your, your comfort zone, you, you learn how things are happening in other places. Uh, for instance, you have uh, a master's in, uh, in local governance studies mm -hmm. uh, where uh, we partner with the, the, the association of uh, local governance uh, uh, body. Okay. Uh, and uh, we, we, we had a partnership with uh, in developing that program with the local governance institute uh, from Ghana All right. uh, initially when we were starting. So we, we attract uh, knowledge from all over. Mm -hmm. When we see, uh, when we, see we, 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 we miss or we lack uh, certain expertise, uh, we go and, and, and try to, to, to bring it on. We have a partnership with the uh, performing art in, in, in Makerere. And uh, uh, I remember I visited the Ndere Cultural Troop Center. Uh, where we were discussing how to to encourage performing art in Rwanda, which is not uh, uh, well developed sure. as in other countries in this region. So we we, we see what we have, uh, we, we encourage it, we see what we don't have, and we try to attract it. All right. So just join us in this AU Talks on AU TV, and we're discussing the role of arts and social science in the development of Rwanda. Stay tuned. Be right back. The kind of university we ultimately want is a university that allows people to become the best kind of people they were ever meant to be. You know? And again, it comes back to a university being a space, a, a space of three or four years in the space of a young person's life, where they're protected from many of the other pressures of needing to seek employment and, and, and start their careers, but a space in which we provide them with opportunities to become the best. Hi there, they just joined us. It is AU Talks on AU TV. Um, I have here Dr. Alphonse Molefu, he's the principal of the College of Arts and Social Science in the University of Rwanda, and we're discussing the role of arts and social sciences in the development of Rwanda. So, Doc, let's go back to a very important factor in your dispensation into Rwanda's economy. How well are students who are produced um, social science and arts experts doing? In, in the economy of Rwanda, and how proud are they in making the, the college? Uh, uh, I, before I, I forget something, uh, I, I, when I was mentioning about the uh, kind of activities we offer to the community, I forgot to mention the radio, and since you're people in the media, okay. maybe that would be of your interest. Sure. So we have Radio Sarus, okay. That's, uh, uh, it's one of the teaching tools, and uh, it uh, provides services of like other radios do. So that is also part of our, our our university. So I felt like I needed to mention no, it. So Thank you. Yeah. Uh, about to the 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 students and uh, when they graduate, uh, we we have f uh, the internship programs that we provide to students, and this we do it in partnership with the uh, uh, potential employers. Uh, we place them in areas of their interest, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, but we also involve them when we are preparing our curriculum okay. to see that uh, the service, the, the, the skills we provide, are relevant to the market. Mm -hmm. uh, in that sense, uh, uh, it, it very much uh, 
helps in career guidance for students, but we also have career center, career guidance centers at the, at the university that uh, helps students throughout their education system and advise them uh, uh, through the, uh, their profession interests. Uh, but uh, I would say, of course, uh, Rwanda, I, I don't want to, uh, to describe uh, an ideal situation. Rwanda is a country like uh, any other in, in the region. Uh, of course, with the, some uh, better performing uh, indices in some areas, but also with the, some challenges as well. So, uh, like in many other countries, we still have uh, uh, lo low levels of absorption of graduates. Uh, uh, so, uh, you find that youth unemployment is generally a problem uh, uh, all over the world, not only in, in Africa, but a very serious problem in Africa. Uh, but uh, we, we can confidently say that our students, when they reach out on the market, uh, they are among the best okay. uh, to, be s uh, to be selected. And uh, since the employment in Rwanda is on a, a, a merit-based competition, uh, we do our best to provide the best, uh, the, the, the best skills that are needed uh, and, uh, and uh, encourage them to, to critically uh, be analytical uh, uh, to, to the possibility of, of the new challenges outside. So, so for example, we have uh, uh, a course on entrepreneurship okay. that we, we teach across the university. Uh, so that students st uh, stop thinking about just uh, being job seekers, but also to be job, okay. job, 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 job makers or creators. So entrepreneurial course is taught, you know, whether you're doing medicine, whether you're doing engineering, whether you're doing, uh, you have to do a course on, 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 on entrepreneurship. So those are some of the uh, non-traditional approaches that we use to, to encourage students to, to be able to, uh, to transition from student life to, uh, I would say, civilian life. <laughs> That's interesting. Yeah. Yeah. So um, <coughs> I know that Dr. Alphonse Maluf, Maluf um, you, you're filled with um, purpose, you're purpose driven, and when you assumed your role as the principal for the um, College of Arts and Social Science, you have a purpose laid down that at the end of my tunnel, when I'm down from this office, I want to see uh, the level of arts and social science and want that to this level. Can you share with us so we can also place on our papers to watch and see that Dr. Uh, Alforza is hitting the target like that for himself to give you that? Yeah. Uh, again, we, we, as a university, we have uh, regulations, we have uh, policies, we have uh, vision, we have uh, strategies. Uh, but this university is a participatory university. We, we encourage uh, people with innovative ideas yes. uh, to improve uh, where they work, uh, to bring those ideas yes. forward and we encourage it. Uh, whether you are um, uh, a lecturer, whether you're head of a department, whether you're a dean, whether you're a principal like myself, yes. or whether you're uh, a lector or vice lector, uh, we we have, uh, sorry, I mentioned the elected and vice elector, vice chancellor and uh, yeah. deputy vice chancellor. Uh, we have uh, uh, different uh, mechanisms of encouraging people to come up with the, their initiatives yes. and, and, and put, it, yeah. put them forward. For so the, the personally, what you asked me to be as, as uh, what I would be remembered of, yeah. uh, I, I haven't thought about being remembered because I'm still young. Sure. Uh, so I'm, I'm still uh, in, the, in the process of, uh, of learning and, and making impact. Uh, I, 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 I'm, I'm, I learn a lot uh, in, in terms of what can improve the situation we're in, yeah. uh, what new uh, programs to bring, how to increase the quality of education, 
how to uh, uh, also uh, bring in new things uh, in, in when you hear social science uh, arts uh, people don't remember that there are also happen some innovations yeah. so uh, but as someone who is in a position of leadership it's it's beyond myself it is to enable my colleagues because uh, it I believe it is uh, these over 160 academic staff put together mm -hmm. that uh, their corrective uh, ambitions would uh, put uh, the courage to a good uh, position uh, that we want. So my position is to uh, see that I provide enablers uh, to my colleagues so that we can succeed together. Sure. I'm so glad to have you on this show and I believe that Africa and AU TV is part of you for your stats. Thank you and very much. You so, amazingly. And thank you. so hi there, that is where time permits us to end the discussion on AU talks on the role of art and social sciences in developing the Rwandan country. I've been your host, Ajimwa Chudako. You can call me AOD as my Ghanaians call me and Weji Mary as my Rwandans call me. And my guest today was the principal of the College of Arts and Social Science, Dr. Alphonse Mulefu. And it's been a fruitful discussion. I believe you enjoyed it. Just keep watching AUTV. And today I'm signing out. See you next time. Bye.